Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Voyager OS. It's based on long-term support Ubuntu. It comes with the Avant Window Manager and the Conky. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like what the channel's doing and you like our videos, you can buy us a cup of coffee. Or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. Voyager Linux. First thing we're going to do is we're going to zip on over to their website. And when it opens up, it is voyagerlive.org. I will put that link in the description below. It kind of gives you a bunch of different options of what they have here. You've got 2104 GE, 20.04. You've got gaming, tablet PC, news, long-term support. Kind of gives you what they're based on, Ubuntu, Zubuntu, gaming, Debian. And then you can scroll down and they've got a lot of different information down here for you. Voyager, I've liked it for a long time. I actually used it on an older laptop about two years ago for about a six-month run, and it was a pretty solid distribution. Now, if you do have issues with this OS, it's best just to use the Ubuntu forums. They do have a forum here that you can go to. It's right over here on the left. Should you not find your answer there, like I just said, zip on over to the Ubuntu forums and they can help you out. So let's go ahead and close out of this. I've always liked the look of Voyager. It just seems nice. It seems, to me, a little bit better than Ubuntu, but that's personal opinion. You can do search. If you go over here, just click on there. You can come over here and do a search once we close that. And then you've got back to desktop. And then down here on the bottom, you do have a dock. Up top, you do have a single panel, which has your wired connections. You set up your Wi-Fi here, battery levels, settings, tweaks, power off, log out, audio, internet connection, date and time, language, terminal, and then of course you've got radio right here. You've got Byte FM, Ego FM, FM4, you can get different things there. And then this lets you know right here what workspace you're on. We're gonna come down to the dock. You've got Firefox, you've got files. It pops up right here and as you can tell, it pretty much has the same look that you're gonna get with Ubuntu. You've got your usual suspects over here. You got your file folders over here. If you drop down here, you've got adjustments for the size of the file folders. You can adjust them A to Z, Z to A, last modified, reload. Just a nice, quick, snappy file manager to let you get work done and stay out of your way. So I'm going to close out of that. Then you have your text editor. You've got notes. You've got your calendar. Keep track of your schedule here. It's pretty clean. Goes right along with the look of the operating system. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. Then you have show desktop. Then you've got Minitube. I've always liked Minitube. If you pull up Minitube, it opens up right here. You can enter a keyword to start watching videos. So I'm just going to put in eBuzz Central. And what it'll do is it'll bring up videos that are associated with my channel. And then if you click play, it'll actually start playing the video right on your desktop. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. It's just a quick way to be able to watch YouTube videos right on your desktop without having to go to your browser. Then down here, you've got a Ubuntu Software Center, which is what Voyager is going to use if you want to install applications of any kind. And it is popped up, and the software catalog is being downloaded. And now they have populated. You have your editor's picks right here. You will have featured ones actually scroll by up here. And then you've got categories down here. You also can install your updates from here. And then it'll show you everything that you have installed. If there's certain things on here that you don't want, like Solitaire, you can just come over here, click remove, it'll take it away. It's just a quick way to remove things off of your system that you don't want there. And then, of course, easy way to add different applications. Now, if you come over here to the search, all you have to do is type in something like Caden Live, and it'll bring it right up. All you got to do is click on it, click install, you're good to go, and you've installed new application onto your OS. So that's how you get software. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And if you come down here, you've got Box Voyager. Let's open that up. And it'll bring up this little box right here. Let's scoot it over here. You've got night mode. You've got net speed. You've got wall voyagers, extensions for GNOME, Conky control, tablet PC. You just pick something, and you can set it up however you want to. And then you've got system info, switch voyager to Ubuntu, wine and gaming, battery. Let's say you wanted to do something with Conky control. Just click it, click OK, and it'll bring up your Conky control center. Menu, Conky List, you can go through here and change it. Auto Start, you just have a lot of control right here 
through this box. So let's go ahead and close out of that. So if you do download this and give it a drive, check out the Voyager box, it's pretty impressive. Let's go to applications. When your applications come up, you've got accessories, which is weather, text editor, notes, fonts, disks, documents, backups, extensions, archive manager, games, graphics, internet, office. You've got LibreOffice loaded out of the box, sound and video, music, PDV, cheese, Minitube, videos, system tools. So you've got quite a few applications here that you can use right out of the box. Let's go ahead and back out of this. And as you can see on the desktop, you do have your Conky right here. Basically states at this moment in time, I'm using 987 megabytes of the two gigs that I have issued to this machine. Plus the CPU, I've issued it two cores. It's using about 1%, and it's letting me know my battery level on my laptop is 87%. So let's go over here. Let's click on that, and let's go check out settings. And it gives you your base settings, you know, your network, Bluetooth, background. If you wanted to change your background photo, you can come in here and do that. I kind of like the Voyager logo that's already there, so I'm going to leave it. Then appearance, you've got light, standard. If you wanted to switch it to a dark theme, just click on dark. It changes it over to a dark theme. And then notifications, search, online accounts, sharing sound, power, displays, and about. You can click on about, and it'll let you know device names Ubuntu, AMD Ryzen, 64-bit, windowing systems X11, virtualizations Oracle. So let's close out of that. And then we're going to go over here and check out tweaks. And what Tweaks does is just give you a lot of options that aren't available in regular settings. Like you can turn animations off, you can suspend when laptop lid is closed. Appearance, you can come over here and change your themes to everything. And then extensions, you can add extensions through right here. Then fonts, keyboard and mouse, startup, top bar. Right now, you've got your activities overview hot corner over here. If you wanted to shut that off, you could just click it. But because we are in a live environment, it won't let me do that. It does have battery percentage on up here. If you wanted to do that, you could turn that battery percentage off and you would just have the icon. And then, of course, on the clock, you could add weekday to your calendar, date, seconds, and then week numbers on your calendar. Window title bars, you can toggle to maximize or toggle to minimize. And then, of course, you have your buttons up here. If you didn't want them there, you could obviously shut those off. And then if you wanted your buttons on the left, you could move those over or you could put them back on the right. So let's go ahead and go back. Then you've got Windows, Workspaces. So that's pretty much just a quick look at Voyager OS. What do you think? Is it something you might download, throw on a USB, or put in a virtual machine and take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel doesn't cost anything and if you end up not liking me you can always unsubscribe if you like the videos and you like what the channel's doing you can buy us a cup of coffee or better yet become a patron to the channel over on patreon those links will be in the description below thank you for watching my video and i will see you in the next video